Okay, just up from the vine house and my plantation and everything. And these are the buddleias that I've literally just stabbed into the ground from my friend's garden. And so I'm taking all the big old leaves off and they literally, all I did was they were soaking in water for a period of time. I re-trimmed their bottoms and I just stabbed them in. And I've done loads of them. I'm just taking the big leaves off, these big leaves. Um, I literally have just stabbed them in the ground. And hopefully some of them will take. I'll give you an example. That dogwood right there. Let me see if I can. Oh, look. Piece of glass. Pick it up while the sun shines and you see it. Um, this dogwood here. Literally, uh, a friend of mine had... A friend of hers had pruned her red dogwood and it was out of water for three days. And I took two, one, well, no, I took more than two. I took about 10 cuttings of it and stabbed them all in the ground. And two have taken out of the 10, which is not bad for something that had no water for three or four days. And then I brought it home and I stabbed this area full of them. Uh, here, you can see this is a dead one. This one didn't take, but these two did. And I'm gonna leave them there uh, till next year and then I'll dig them up and put them where I want them. So this is a lovely dogwood with this amazing red uh, bark. Anyway, these Budlia, there's two different varieties at least here. And so hopefully I've stabbed into the ground. You can see I'm taking off all these little leaves, all the big leaves and I'm leaving the little leaves. You can see there's little leaves in there. I don't know if you can see that, see that little leaves. So I'm getting rid of all the big leaves because it makes the plant say, oh gosh, we've got to grow. And so that's what I'm doing. Oh, and they've had a good soak. Aren't you being a good assistant gardener? Yeah. Bear, can you get out of the bed? You're too big. The irises in there were dug up from another bed, so they're kind of resuscitate, uh, re being resuscitated here as well. So this is a kind of bed of propagation bed, if you will. Um, I'm gonna continue clipping out the uh, extra leaves because you can see here, there's new fresh growth right there. So if I take these off, it will stimulate the fresh growth to grow as well as the roots to form underneath. So here's hoping that I'll get some of these, you know, three or four of those Budlias come true. That would be great. But Budlia is so much better at propagating this way than the dogwoods. I mean, I am thrilled to bits that I got two dogwoods out of the 10 that I put in there. You can see that's the last one I haven't pulled out right there, the dead one. So uh, hopefully the Budlia, which was much better treated than the dogwood, um, will, I'll get a lot more of them, which will be great. And I can then plant them all over the place. What fun. Anyway, and my pear tree is looking delicious. These are so magnificent, these pears, is all I can say. Yum, yum, yum. Mm, mm, mm. And all these dogs like eating the ones that I'm eating. Well, you're eating a bit of grass, aren't you? You're having some of your ve morning vegetables. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So here's hoping I have a bunch of Budlias come next year. I've just emptied the water tank, the rainwater tank. Very importantly, I've been leaving these Budlias soaking in rainwater. And I discovered this fella. Oh, let's see if I can get it in focus. There we go. Beautiful shield bug. Look at that. He's a gorgeous fella. Look at that. They're an amazing beetle. Look at how, whoops, it's hard to do when the focus isn't great. But part of his shell is almost translucent. There's so many different kinds that we have here in Ireland. Anyway, 
I'm going to take him out to the garden in this bucket full and go and plant them. Whoop, I missed a flower. Don't even that bud I want to get rid of. So there's the shield bug. I'm bringing him out to the garden. And this bucket full, I'm going to stab these all into the ground and hopefully some of them will take. And uh, there's a good 30, 40 or more of these that uh, I'm planting out, or more. It could be even more. Going out here. This is beginning to fade. It has been so spectacular this year, the black-eyed Susans. But within a little while, this is gonna be full of finches. They come and eat the seed heads of these. So I don't clear them out. And every time I walk through that door, when all these seeds are ripe, the place is alive with birds eating the seed heads, which is so wonderful. Okay, so back up here to stab into the ground the last bunch of these Budlia. You can see the evidence of my leaves. So there's loads of them in here and I've got loads more to plant and then I'm gonna hose this down because the next few days is gonna be really, really hot, which hopefully will stimulate everything to put down roots. So I might have a really good crop of Budlia next year, one hopes. Anyway, here we go, start stabbing. Here's the piece of Budlia with the shield bug. Here you go, you can crawl onto the rose. Why don't you crawl onto the rose? Oh wow, look at how his antennae take up the color of the rose. Oh, and his leg markings. Oh, that is so cool. He is so beautiful. Oh, sorry, the wind is gonna make you seasick. Look at that, isn't that just beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna stab in this Budlia, just right here. Who knows if it's gonna work or not, but there we go. There's a bit of leaf right there. We'll see. Anyway, I've still got a bucket load to do. And the cat is having fun. Hey, kitty. And the dogs are eat all eating. They're all eating pears. <laughs> yes, kitty. Oh, pupper. Oh, you good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl, too. You're such a good girl, too. Look at that smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> Up, and they're off. Doing the runnings.